guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your Surface device work as a, a touch screen device because um, most, most of you are interested in this uh, video um, and this is a video tutorial which is fairly quick um, I guess it's uh, uh, it depends on your device but not every single device I've had a chance to test but uh, most of them will work and uh, as uh, you will see later um, a lot of them supported I mean like the touch screen itself it's supported on this stage okay um, and we will go first um, to, 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 to back up your EFIs because uh, as you might may know I recommend always recommend uh, to use uh, use your old but if something just back up it uh, just back up it something goes wrong something not works you always have a uh, USB flash uh, drive so you can boot from the USB drive itself but first of all um, you you may have uh, you may have I have this app already but uh, for my taste uh, it's kind of fun and easy to use it's a clover configurator it's just uh, so many things but all we need is just mount EFI option so we can back up EFI so the first thing is just to mount EFI mm, and you will see the open uh, the button open, open partition will be active not gray out okay I'll just press it and you just basically can uh, close this you don't need uh, anymore okay um, and you will see in my case this is just a folder backup which is uh, the folder I well I use for the backup if something goes wrong I, I just just copy uh, all C folder from here and just paste it uh, right uh, in, uh, in this place but um, for you, I recommend to have a flash drive, so you just copy your working uh, EFI, um, you copy your OC on desktop, um, paste it, uh, run the flash drive, go to uh, Cloud Configurator, open the flash drive EFI, which is USB flash drive, and paste uh, this uh, boot and open C and maybe Microsoft in in the flash drive but for my case I just copy it uh, here um, and um, po -po -po, just or make it back uh, I recommend you make a backup folder and copy and paste and backup here so you you will you will not need to have it on the Mac so I will remove it for just just for now because I I have already tested. Um, so yeah, um, back uh, make a backup folder. Put the, the your current working EFI, which is does not have any touch screen, uh, any batteries uh, support. Okay, um, and then you will get the link uh, under the description of this video. You will get the new op open core folder, which is uh, uh, still in. Uh, in development I will definitely update it but you need to just remove old one or just back up it here put it in backup folder and paste it here it's all you need okay it's all you need um, you can unmount for this stage because we don't need it uh, and I will do it as well uh, go to Clover configuration unmount partition so it's just uh, unmounted and you will never see this in uh, in your um, computer, okay. I will not, you will not able to go to this partition, okay. Uh, just EFI partition, close it. And the next step is to go to uh, this uh, GitHub um, uh, GitHub repository repo, okay. Um, I just put the link under the video. Uh, I guess it's just you don't need to find it, but it's easy. And uh, the first step. Um, uh, the first first step that you need is to have an installed version of Homebrew, and if you don't have it, uh, just because um, if you're a developer, you probably will already have it. But I recommend you update it. Just press here to copy in, in, into your clipboard. Um, go to terminal, or if you use a, not terminal, if you use this something like I term. 
which I don't have it here, but uh, I will use in terminal. Just uh, just press it here, and uh, it asks you to make a password. And the script will uh, install uh, the homebrew for you. I'm just make it uh, larger so you can definitely see. Um, I think I just uh, I will just update because um, I have because uh, I have installed it in. Uh, so yeah, it's just basically I, I think it, I have the newest version, so I just update. It. Okay, um, it's first step, right? Um, the next steps in the because uh, you you install this uh, homebrew package manager, which is um, easier way to install uh, the different the libraries, is to go to terminal and execute brew install um, ft uh, fmt in this kind of a line. Okay, just make it larger. Press install. And to do, do, do uh, in my case, it's uh, already installed and up to date. But in your case, uh, you probably will just install it. But in my case, it's already installed. Uh, and the last step um, is finally download the script. Uh, install daemon sh, right? Um, it's probably all you need to do. But go right over here, releases, right? Four days ago, version one two. Download this uh, this zip file, right? Just go to download it, okay? And go to do, do, do download and zip it, and run uh, this uh, sh uh, file, right? Uh, it's easy. Just just go to do, do, do the terminal. Just drag and drop here, and you will get the um, exact the folder which is located right. And the password, your password, okay. And uh, there's no feedback. There is, you see, there's nothing. Just if there is no errors, it, it just feels like it executed. You just uh, if you want to. Truly uh, find this path. You just go to you, you. You just check it, right? You just go to user local bin, okay? And you just check it. It's here or not? If it's already here, it just will mm, basically launch every time when you boot your computer, okay? Boot your Mac. And if it's here, uh, it's okay. It should works. Um, as expected uh, to do return back and uh, yeah uh, the whole thing is to have a big uh, surface text uh, so to make a touch screen works uh, for my case and your and for your as well and um, if you uh, want to disable touch and palm so you just when you use a uh, stylus you just don't need to have a um, sensitive arm or something you can activate it but it just you know if it's uh, if it's easier for you uh, for my taste I don't need it because I'm not used to much uh, pen stylus or something and the second thing is if you want to have a keyboard on top of your Mac uh, it's just accessibility option if you want to check it check it on to activate it but uh, most of the time I use my keyboard um, but sometimes I just want to have a touch screen as example here to select something or just okay uh, right and to just uh, scroll um, well I don't need my um, uh, the extorn I mean like accessory but option uh, accessibility option right um, yeah, it's all pretty much it. Uh, the main thing to have right EFI. Uh, if you have a right EFI, it's all should works. I mean, it's just straight process. Uh, that just steps step by step, and this is should work. Um, and battery should work as well. It show me this kind of a recommendation. Um, well, I guess it's a, just a kind of a thing that uh, I can remove, but. Uh, 
uh, well, I need to figure out how to make it uh, because it uh, feels like uh, feels like uh, showing me this message. Uh, but anyway, um, everything is work works as expected. Uh, it's not much to show you. Um, well, the thing is, don't forget to backup. Put your on your external drive uh, EFI uh, like a USB drive, so you can flash drive, so you can boot if something goes wrong. Um, it's pretty much it. Um, and when you uh, when you reboot uh, your computer, you definitely will have this option. Uh, which is uh, working correctly stylus. Um, try it uh, if something goes wrong message me in comments section here thank you for watching this video I hope it helps you because uh, it say it would be save me a lot of uh, a lot of time right to make it uh, works if it saves you just like this video subscribe to the channel thank you for watching this bye bye